Hello, welcome back. Okay, let me try. Let me see. And now, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Yes, yeah, all right. Very good. Okay, so let's continue. I'm just going to wait a little bit for your classmates to connect. And I'm going to type the information here. Simple pass. And we will have expressions to talk about time. We will study for scenes, okay, scenes, no signs, scenes. That is the pronunciation. Then, and, The other one. Long. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to use from, from to, or until, or till. And the other one, other one we will study will be until these are the ones we will study today there are more but today just those ones okay remember the structure subject verb in past tense and complement okay this is the formula we use verbs in the past in the example i ate Pupusas yesterday, past tense. Go in past tense, went, right? We went to the park last night. This is the structure that we use to express past tense. And you have some prepositions to express time. Number one. Four. We start with four. We have to use four to talk about duration, okay? Duration of the activity. Four. We went to the park last, sorry, last night. Four and you express the duration of the activity for two hours, okay? For and the duration. Example number two, he played, past tense, soccer for and the duration one, hour yes no questions or okay okay number two scenes this is another possibility scenes and now the the use Okay, you have to use scenes with the starting time, okay? Beginning of the activity, okay? The moment that you started the activity. Example, I, okay, we started the class mm, scenes and now the starting time 8 p.m right that's the moment we started option number two she worked in the academy scenes 
and now the moment that you started the activity. 2010, okay? El inicio, el tiempo de inicio, the moment that you started. That is since. Number three. Then. Then, it means after, okay? After. It means later. Next. That is the meaning of then. Okay? I played soccer. Then, that's the next activity. Later. Then, we study English. Okay? That is the meaning of then. It means after. A synonym. Another possibility. Example number two. He worked then and mentioned the next activity. Then he played the piano. Okay. Questions in this moment? Do you have questions for me? Anybody? No. Okay. Not yet, ma'am. Not yet. What that means then in means, Spanish? I can tell you, but try not to memorize it. It means luego. Luego. That's, that's what okay. it means. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, next use. From, from, and too close, you have three possibilities. Number one, two. Option number two, till. And the abbreviation of until is till, the same, but the short form. Okay. And the use from. We use from to open the moment or the time and until to close the time. Example, we study English. I have to switch here, sorry. We study English. Open the time from, and mention the moment it starts, 8 p.m. Close the time, preposition 2, 10 p.m. Again, from, open the time, Monday. Close the time until Friday. Okay, open and close. Open and close the time. She studied, studied in the USA. And you want to mention the moment it started and the moment it finished. She studied in the USA from 2011 to, and close the time, 2020, okay? With days, with hours, open, close. From, you open, to, you close. And remember, you have three possibilities. Tienen tres posi posibilidades. You have three possibilities to close the time para cerrar su tiempo. Option number two, until. Okay. And option number three, till. Three alternatives, same meaning. 
¿Ok? Mismo significado. No difference. The same. ¿Ok? This is another option. And the next one we have until. Until. Um, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment and then I, I will continue. Sorry, give me one second. And please say present because I don't see all of you here. So I need you to say present and your camera. Okay, we start with Ana Beatriz Campos. Present. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Brian Javier. Carlos Present. Antonio. Thank you. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Frida. Mejía. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Jose Galileo and Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, then Jos, uh, sorry, Laura Carolina, Luis Alfonso, Maria Present. Concepcion, Present. thank you, Maria Elena, Maria Ivania, Present. Present teacher, and now Nelson Cabarrete and Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. And then Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira. Zaira Larín. Present. Okay. Wendy Zabaleta. Jenny Santos. Present. Okay. Thank you. And now we continue with Christian Lazo. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Okay. And Mayra. Present. Okay, thank you. So now, now we continue. Until. Okay. We use it with the moment you stop or discontinue, the moment you stop or discontinue an activity, an action, a moment, you freeze, you stop the activity. Examples, we finish the class until 10 p.m. We stopped. We discontinued the activity at 10 p.m. I work, or let's say, Mayra, what time do you finish working? What time do you stop? Mm. By mm, 6 p.m. Okay. Mayra works until she stops 6 p.m. Okay. That is the meaning of until, the use of until. Do you have questions? Or doubts? No. 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 It's not. Okay. I'm going to repeat. Okay. I'm going to repeat. We are studying expressions to talk about time. We can use for, since, no signs, since, then, from, to, from, until, from, till, and until. In past tense, in present tense, in future tense, in all tenses. 
to express time. Four is for duration of the activities. He plays soccer for in the duration, the period of time, for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, etc. Since is used with the moment you start, with the starting time, the beginning of the activity. We started the class since 8 p.m. Number three, then, that means after or later or next. I play soccer and later, and then we studied English. From, and you have three closing options. Hay tres maneras de cerrarlo, ¿verdad? From, and you have two, until, or the short form, till, to close the time. And we have the examples, right? Different options. And until the moment you stop, you discontinue, you freeze the activity or the situation. Okay, no questions? No questions for me? I have a okay. question, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, in, in, in Alway, the part is in, in past tense, in the past. In the past, teacher, in in Elway, with with this. No, no, it's not always this in is past tense. With this expression. It in all tenses, Alfonso. You can do it in Because, all tenses. I have I have a a question in in the in the example in science, since science or since repeat please the pronunciation. Since I say, always I say science. Don't worry, it happens. <laughs> It's, it happens. Okay, in the, in, in since, mm -hmm. in the, I, uh, no, sorry, and then, uh -huh. and he worked, he, he worked, please, he worked, he worked, I don't remember, I don't remember. Uh huh. What is the question? Okay, uh, uh, okay, in the, he, he worked, then he played the piano. Mm -hmm. Okay, en español, él mm -hmm. trabajó. Ajá. Y luego tocó el piano. Eso mm -hmm. me quiere decir ahí. Yes. Ok, la pregunta es si siempre vamos a usar el, el, el verbo en su pasado. No, my examples were mostly in simple past. Los que hice fueron la mayoría en simple past, pero no, se puede utilizar en cualquier tiempo. You can use them with all times. The ones I have here, los últimos que hice si están, bueno, the last one it's in present tense. Uh, yes, yes, uh, because we, for this, uh, for, for, For the last eh, oraciones, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Teacher? Sentences. For, el, por eso le hice la pregunta, porque ahí vi que el, que el verbo lo tenía en, 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 en su tiempo normal. Thank you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, now it is your turn. You have to create a conversation. Similar, ok, this is your model. Ok, similar to this one. But about you and your classmate. Van a crear una conversación similar a la que aparece acá. Este es un modelo, just an idea, a model for you to create a conversation, okay? Similar to the one you see here. With the same person you were working with, okay? Les voy a dar un, unos minutos. Five minutes, enough? Salimos con five minutes? No. <laughs> Seven minutes. Seven minutes, maybe. I will visit. Yes. You. Los voy a visitar. A ver, y si terminan antes, send me a, a, a request. Okay, send me a message that you finish. So let's say seven minutes. Nine, nine, seventeen, nine, eighteen. We come back. Okay, but I'm going to create the rooms again because the information got erased. Okay, so Anna. 
Beatriz and Lily. Okay, one moment, Brian and Carlos. And then we will have Ellie and Frida. Number four, we will have Arnoldo and Galileo. Jonathan and Rodrigo. Juan Carlos and Laura. Alfonso and Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena and Ivania. And then Mayra and Zaira. Mayra and Zaira. And then Wendy and Jenny. And then Nelson and Omar. Okay. Please open the rooms. Are you there, Ellie? Nelson? Good evening. Hi. Sorry, Frida. I, I don't know what happened to, to Ellie and she was not coming. So that's why I sent you with Omar. So please work okay. with Omar. And Omar, the same, the same problem with your classmates. So that's why you will be working with Frida. Okay. If you need me, let me, let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. So see you. See you in one moment. ¿Cuándo comenzaste a trabajar? Hi, sorry to interrupt. Is there something Hi. I can help you with? No, teacher, thanks. No, in this moment you're fine. Yes. Okay, okay so I'm going to let you continue. See you in a moment. Thank you. Bye. Okay, así. Okay. Juntito, ajá, ajá. junto. Mac or ajá, or Nick. Seca. Hello, Anna and Lily. How are you? How are you doing? Do you need help? Yes. Seca, seca. De la seta. Necesitan ayuda? Do you need help or questions or dudas? Ahorita me diciendo. Ah, okay. Quítale la las. Quítele la C a Lilian, por favor. Ajá, ahí póngale la C y luego la K. Por mí. Exacto. For. For work experience. Tell me. Hello. Work. Hello. Hello. I'm just checking on you. Is there something I can help you with? Eh. We just start the uh, oh. conversation. Okay. Do you have doubts? It's a, it's a pleasure you stay here with us. <laughs> I cannot stay long because I have to check the other ones, but
but but yes i will stay here a moment and you are okay. not do you have doubts no sé si tiene alguna duda no all is no. clear in this moment okay for your support okay i'm going to say just like a minute and then i'll go okay okay just, uh, uh, good may i share my screen Arnaldo? okay Okay, good, good. Tell me about, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell, double L. Tell me about your work experience, your real work experience. Okay, tell me, please. I don't work in this moment. Okay, but please, Speak oh, about your I, experience. I work. Okay. I work. I work. No, I work. I work as a grocer. I work at Park Plus. for eight, eight years. Oh, okay, for eight years. Okay. From... From 2013. Until two thousand no thirteen thirteen. I'm sorry. Until two thousand twenty-one. Okay, let me check. Okay. I got you are you are not working right now. No? Okay, um uh, me check well, what's happening. Yes. Okay, Lisa. Hi, Rodrigo. Can you tell the last joke? Can you talk yeah. about your last joke? Yes. In my, in my last joke is called Good Experiences. Joe's accounting financial. Nice experience. Um, what happened? When do uh, and and you and what and um, what uh, you finish the I finished my job. Yes. And when you finish them? In cuanto horario o tiempo de trabajo? No, en tiempo. O sea, la duración del, del tiempo. ¿Cuándo, el... ¿cuándo, ¿Cuándo finalizó? ¿Cuándo finalizas? El horario, entonces, ¿no? ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo terminaste de trabajar en este, en este ah. trabajo? Hi, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Ah. How, how is your conversation going? ¿Cómo va su conversation? ¿Ustedes ya terminaron? No. No. No estoy seguro. ¿Do you need help? No sé si hay algo en lo que les pueda ayudar. ¿Is there something I can help you with? No, es que teníamos problemas para comunicarnos. 
Ah, no ok. Pasa, pero ya estamos. Ok. Pero ya tienen una ya. parte. Una, sí, okay. quizás la mitad. Ok. Ok. Because I think like in two minutes or one, we will return. So I will let you continue. Ok. okay. See you in okay. one moment. Okay. Zoom. Así. Resumen. Uh -huh. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hello, Hi. Wendy. Hi, teacher. Hello. How is your conversation Hello. coming? Um, the, um, good. Good. Porque ya nos pasamos del tiempo, pero en todos los que he visto todavía no han terminado, así que por eso no los he regresado al main room. Ok, do you need help? No sé si escuché la palabra resumen, es de currículum, Ajá. de lo que están ¿Sí? hablando. Yes. Resume. 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 Ok. Ok, well, I'm going to let you continue. In two minutes, traten de irlo ya como finalizando. In two, one minute, we will return. Any okay. questions? No okay. sé si hay algo más. Something else? Mm, no, no question. Okay. No. Good. Question. Okay, Hi guys. What Hi, happened? Hi teacher. Se le fue yeah. la connection. Mm, yo acabo de entrar, no estaba en otra sala yo solita y nunca llegó nunca nadie. Nunca llegó nadie. No, y me Igual yo acabo de entrar. entrar. Ah, Eli, sí, usted. Usted estaba trabajando con Frida, pero yo le hablé, le decía Eli, 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 y no, creo que no me oía tampoco. Entonces envié a Frida a otro grupo, porque pensé que no estaba. Ajá. Ok. Quizás. It's, it's fine. No sé qué pasó, eh, pero ajá, estaba ahí. Ok, but, yo le estoy yo le estoy preguntando ahorita a... Uh, Christian, ¿verdad? Que me hable de su trabajo. Dice que trabaja en... I, he worked in Casco since uh, 2016. ¿Verdad? He is Waterhouse Manager. ¿verdad? And yes. Elizabeth, can you tell me about your work experience? I am a secretary. I am a secretary. ¿Desde cuándo es, es secretaria? ¿Desde cuándo trabaja ahí? I, I work... No, no sé cómo se dice. <ríe> sin, sin, sin es desde, sin es desde, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? ¿O, o si ha trabajado en algún otro lado? Sorry, Oscar, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the sharing because your classmates are returning. But did you work with Christian? Did you finish the, the conversation, Christian? No, I don't finish. No, no, no I don't no. finish, no. no. And one part, at least finish. one part? It's a 10%. Um, okay. okay. It's a few minutes to get the connected Christian with me. You had problems, uh -huh. you had problems to start in time. Yes. And okay, and you guys, could you finish the conversation? No teacher. No, 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 no teacher. No teacher. Okay. No teacher. Four more minutes. Okay, four more minutes. Yes, thank and you. Excellent. And try to try to do it. Okay, so please. Mm, okay, Eli. Entonces se ha quedado aquí Eli con Omar, verdad? Yes, teacher. ¿Y quién? Cristian. Ok, vamos yes. a seguirlo de esa manera. Teacher, cuatro minutos más. Yes, four more minutes. Éxito, éxito, <laughs> teacher. Gracias. Ok. <laughs> ok, Eli, don't accept the invitation. No te vayas de acá, Eli. Stay here. Ok, ok. No sé si da la opción de cancel de, para no irse. Oscar, the sí. same. Reject the invitation. Póngale rechazar. Christian, the same. Reject the invitation. Ok. En Frida, ¿le llegó? La invitation. Ok. 
Ok, continue. Hoy sí ya pueden, you can share the, the book again. And we will continue. Brian, are you there, Brian? En Nelson, Nelson está ahí. Hello, Nelson, me. Nelson a veces yes. tiene dos dispositivos. Ah, ok, Nelson. Pero solo tengo uno, pero tengo problema. Hello, in the problem in the connection. Ok, Nelson, haga su conversation en, en el notebook. Haga la conversation en el notebook y la, le tomo una picture y la manda a WhatsApp. Y la voy a leer entonces ahí. In the meantime. Ah, ok. Ok, you can okay. continue, guys. Eli, Christian, and... Ok. Elizabeth okay. is a secretary. Yeah. Since 20... I don't remember. 20... 11, 16, no, 16, no, no acuerdo cómo se dicen los 16, números. 16. 2016. 2016. Hasta la fecha. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, hasta la fecha, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Anteriormente trabajó en alguna otra parte? Yes, in the airport. Va, in, entonces. In, in, in the airport. Uh -huh. Then work in the airport. I, I was cashier. Huh? I was cashier oh, no. in the airport. She, she was cashier. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Vamos mm, a ver. Before I worked. ¿Cuándo <laughs> terminó? 2016. And, and until 2016, okay. Yes. Until 2016. Before uh, the airport, I work in agency security, security agency. Okay. I was cashier too. Um, I don't remember how you say digitadora. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. O sea que, pero eso desde cuando fue? Twenty six, the mil seis, dos mil seis. Okay, in the airport, how did it start? Dos mil diez, dos mil quince, dos mil quince, one year no more, one year in the airport. Where is it then? Where in the airport? She was cashier. Uh, from, entonces aquí lo vamos a poner por, por 2015 un 2016 déjeme ver si puedo abrir un word ahorita vamos a ver si me deja no me deja esta máquina vamos a ver cómo ¿Cómo, cómo hacen? La... Ustedes saben cómo escribir en esta cuestión de lo que estoy presentando. No. Ahí tiene que abrir una hoja nueva. Una, una pestañita. Ajá, ahí. Eso. ¿O no? No, no es que este es como lo... No me lo abren. En, ah, usted dice un documento de Word. Ajá, tiene, pero... tiene que darle en la ventanita de Windows y seleccionar pero... este el Office. Esta situación el... es de la empresa, entonces. <risa> Vamos. Vamos a ver. Yo creo que nos va a ajustar cuatro minutos. Ok, vamos a ver. 
Tell me about your work. Your work I, how are you doing? Have you finished? No. Yes, teacher. I see. Yes. Excellent. Now practice. Ah, okay. Ah, pues ya puedo cerrar los rooms. Okay, you have one minute. One more minute to practice, okay? See you okay. In, in a moment. Usted. <laughs> Usted escriba. Nice. Hi. In 50 seconds, no. they will come back. <laughs> pues sí, fue más. Ya llegamos al, al 50%. Yeah, only Elizabeth. Okay. She said uh, history workplace. <laughs> ah, okay. 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 Can no I problem. stop the sharing? Puedo quitar el compartir pantalla. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back. I hope that now you finished. So let me let me check the rooms. We will listen to Ana Beatriz and Lily. Ana Beatriz and, and Lily, you have our okay. attention. Proyecta Lily la pantalla por. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about your work experience. I work at McCormick for 27 years. Actually, I work in this company from uh, 1994 till the day uh, 2021. Have you occupied different positions? I am different position during this time for position, line assistant, coordinator, administrative assistant, I know controller production. You have not touched about looking, looking for another job? I will, I don't like what I do. Finish teaching. Okay, thank you very much, Anna and Lily. I appreciate it very well. You change, you change the conversation and you customize it. Now let's listen to Brian and Carlos. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Emiliani for four years. When you start the, the there? I worked until 2018. Do you like work there? Yes, I like. What about you? Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Cotegna for eight years. Do you like to work there? Yes, I like. Only that. Okay, thank you, Carlos, and, and thank you, Brian. Only one comment, you can say, do you like this company? Yes, I do. That is the, the short way to, to say it. Yes, I do. But thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Arnoldo and Galileo, could you continue, please? Okay, ma'am. Okay, Arnoldo, can you see my screen? Yes, I work, we can. Mm -hmm. okay. I work at Far Plus for uh, I'm sorry, I'm so, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Galileo. Tell me about your work experience. 
I worked at Parfums for eight years from 2013 until 2021. You have not working right now? I have no job for one month. If you are not working, I will can help you. I'm going to talk with my boss and I hope you can apply in my company. Great, I'm going to do a resume that I'm going to send you for WhatsApp. Excellent. I am going to wait for your message. Thank you for your support. We are good friends since 2015. Okay. okay. That's our fault. Since 2015. Okay, that's cool. Yes, very good use of the prepositions. Just change that question. The one where it says, you have not worked. You have yeah. not working. I Aren't know. you working right now? That is the, the proper way to say it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop the sharing. And okay. now we will continue with our next couple. Jonathan and Rodrigo, please continue. Hi, Rodrigo. Can you tell about your last job? Hi, Jonathan. I worked at Ipesa for for five years. Do you like the company? Uh, in my joint company, the last is a company computer. Nice. Jonathan, what is the last job? Well, I was working at Tibor Salvador from 2012 to 2017 is what's speaking is a wonderful company company where were actually now i am working to for a straight uh, group um is an insurance company okay very well only teacher <laughs> okay, Rodrigo, thank you. I appreciate it. It was very good too. Thank you, Jonathan. Juan thank Carlos you. and Laura, please continue. Puede compartir, Laura. Okay. No, perdón, no tenía el micrófono, pero se ve la pantalla, teacher. Okay. Good morning, Juan Carlos. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at IDECOM SADCB for two years. Actually, I work in this company since 2019 until now. And what happened there? Uh, well, before it's just for a short period of time, the jobs is what just for six months. And your new job, what do you do? I started as customer service for three months for January 2019 until March 2019. Then I was promoted to the supervisor. Okay. Excited. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Laura and, and Juan Carlos. I appreciate it. I can see uh -huh, the, the use of the of the prepositions. Good use for two years since 2019, from January till March. Uh -huh. That's the correct way to use it. Just maybe more energy, maybe just more energy when you talk to your to each other. That's the only thing. But I know that you're a little bit tired in this moment of the day. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue. Elena and Ivania. 
Hi, Ivania. Tell me about your work. Ivania, are you there? Ivania, are you there? Ivani? Okay. Okay. Now go ahead, Elena. Um hi Ivania. Uh, tell me about your work. I work at Variedad Genesis for eight years. Actually, I work at this company from 2012 to 2020. I quit because I was offered a new job for um, other company and the, the manager. Uh, and what happened in there? Um, I am currently here. I check the accounting extremes. I elaborate balance sheet. Um, I work Monday until Saturday. And science, when do you start your new job? Uh, yes, I I work in the other company since uh, two thousand to twenty. Oh, this great! See you later. See you later. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you Elena and Ivania. It was good. I don't know if I didn't hear well when you said i work from monday i heard i work i work monday till saturday no sé si yo no y bien o no estaba la preposition from so just add that one solo ese comment add the preposition from from eh, till eh, creo, eh, maybe no pronuncie from ah, uh -huh, i didn't hear that yes Okay, yes. just that comment. But thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me see, Mayra and Zaira. And then we continue with Frida, Frida and Omar. Okay. Mayra? Okay. Tell me how you are going in your work. Very well. I work in, in Pacific Avatar. I work in this company from 2018 and I am still there. And you tell me your experience. I work since 2015 at Hotel Andoria. I have seven years of working in this company and I am very happy. And who you feel in your work? Very well. I have a good salary and good benefit. Excellent. I am very happy to know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Just one change. You did well. Mm -hmm. And it's good. You have benefits, right? And a good salary. I, I like that combination. <laughs> That's the best combination ever. So you can say, how do you feel about your job? That will be the appropriate question. How do okay. you feel? Instead of what? How do you feel? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. How? And guys, remember the pronunciation is how, right? Si ustedes dicen how, that's like like a bad word in English. Es como una palabra, mala palabra en inglés, right? So make sure that you say how. How. Okay. How 
that's like prostituta, pero en un eh, más fuerte, como lo diría okay. alguien enojado. So say how, how. Okay, let's okay. continue. Thank you, Zaira and Mayra. <coughs> Frida and Omar. Omar, please share the screen. And my I first. Hello, Omar. Where are you doing? Omar is on mute. <laughs> Omar, we don't hear you. Omar, my <laughs> my okay. my partner. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Omar. What are you doing? Hello, Frida. I'm working in Casco City. Very good. Since when do you work there? I have been in the company where I worked for years. Okay. You have worked there for a, a, a long time. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. That's it, right? Yes. Okay, yes. one comment. Did you say for at? Or how did you say, Frida? A like long that. time. A long time. Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. ah, okay. Okay, so good. Yes. If you if you want to say that, like error de digitación, in English we call them typo. That's a typo. Typo. Lo que me pasa a mi seguido, right? It happens to me all the time, every class typos that's the the way we call them in in english okay thank you and we have the last one the last one before we continue now let's continue oscar ellie and christian and nelson sent me the picture nelson and bml a picture please the zoo dialogue okay oh, we hear sorry, you teacher. El grupo lo mandé hace un momento. Uh -huh. ah okay Okay, I will sí. check them. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, Thank you. This is not conversation, it's a paragraph. Um, uh, but, okay. Uh, tell me about your work experience. Christian say he worked in a company since 2016. He is a warehouse manager. Elizabeth is a secretary since 2016. But then were in the airport, she was cashier from 2015 till 2016. And I was truck driver for a long period since, uh, since 2017 until 2019. Mm -hmm. Okay, the summary of the info, right? Uh -huh. Just one yes. comment, since, that is the, the correct way to say it, since. Okay, very good, all of you. Um, just one question. Um, we I'm have sorry, been... Miss. Yes. Yes, Nelson, tell me. Eh, al, chat, al chat lo mandé, perdón, de, de Zoom. You send it by chat. Okay, yes. Nelson. I will. Uh -huh. I just saw it. Okay. Okay, Nelson. Thank you. Um, it was a dialogue. Era una conversation, pero también el tiempo, ¿verdad? Ya no tuvo mucho tiempo. So, talking about this, I have been with you just like three days, right? Now, for you, what is the most difficult part? Yo he estado poquito tiempo con ustedes, solo voy empezándolos a conocer. Pero para ustedes, ¿qué les cuesta más? Is it speaking? ¿Les cuesta un poco speaking? Hablarlo o grammar, las reglas, pronunciation, o de todo. In my case, grammar. Grammar for you. De todo un poco, miss. A little bit. <laughs> More or less, every part. Speaking. Um, speaking. Speaking. Ah, okay. Speaking. 
Ok, I'm asking you because that way I know your needs, porque si yo sé un poco más lo que necesitan y los voy conociendo, ¿verdad? Ahorita voy viendo cómo se desenvuelven y, y así lo tomo en cuenta for future classes. Ok, so let's continue with a, another activity. I will share the book again. We have one, one more activity before we, we leave. We have one exercise here. It says read Nicole's work experience mm. and fill in the blanks. Here the other group, other group. What do you mean? Como... Sorry, Wendy, I don't understand. And me, teacher. Ah, I'm sorry. I skipped you. Sorry. Yes, go ahead, Wendy. And Maria Concepcion. A mí me toca con Luis, teacher. Ah, okay. Me con Wendy. Let me, let me check. Okay, let me see here. Ah, okay. No sé por qué no me aparecen aquí en mi lista. So, Wendy, Wendy and Jenny. Okay, Wendy and Jenny, sorry, go ahead. Hi, Wendy, nice to meet you, welcome. Hi, Jenny, nice to meet you too. Tell me about your work experience. Um, okay, I work uh, at Maria Travel for eight years. Since 2007 to um, 2015. Actually, I work at Genesis Travel. Since, since 2015. Um, on your resume, I see that you work at the airport. Tell me your experience. Yes, in a project for six months until the project finish. Thank you, Wendy. I hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you, Jenny and, and Wendy. I'm sorry that, that I skipped you. Uh, Jenny, just the word resume. That's the, the correct way to say resume. it. Resume. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And yes, Maria Concepcion and Alfonso. Hello, Maria. How are you? I feel good. Tell me about your work experience. I work. Uh, I worked at Laboratorio Suizo. And what did your occupation? My occupation is maintaining the maintenance of science. 20, 2019 until 20, 2021. What about you? I work at the supplementor since uh, 2015. My occupation is account, account general. And you attend meeting? Yes, I am. Attend meeting twice a week. Do I, or, do I organize the event beautiful? for long. Okay, Maria, thank you for your information. Bye. Okay, thank you. Before you stop sharing where it says, I organized the event beauty for long, what does it mean? What does that mean? The one here. What do you mean? ¿Qué, ¿Qué querían decir en esa parte? Que tienen eventos de belleza. Que asisten. O oh, no, que lo organizan. Sir. Yes, teacher. She organized. She, she Pero es organized. como que lo ha organizado por mucho tiempo. 
No, no, no muy largos. <ríe> Eso ah. quisimos decir. Organiza eventos de belleza no muy largos, ¿sí? Ah, For okay. long. Maybe you can say I organize. I organize short beauty events. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. I organize okay, short beauty events. And yes. yes, I attend. I attend meetings twice a week. And we okay. use the word uh, here. Okay, uh -huh. sure. Okay, just those changes. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, because of the time, we won't finish that activity, but I'm going to take the attendance. And Carlos, is it possible for you to stay in the in the session, the 10 minute session today, tonight? Yes. Okay, all right. So we will stay with you today. And I'm going to take the attendance, okay, before you you guys go. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. No. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present, Lisa. teacher. Present. Ida Mejía. Present teacher. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Okay. María Ivania. Present. Thank you, María Elena and Ivania. Nelson. Nelson. I hear Miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Larín. Present, teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Jenny Zuleima. Santos. Present. Okay. Cristian Ernesto. Present. Present, Miss. Jose Arnoldo. Present, Miss. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Good night. And now Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. And Mayra. Present teacher. Moreno. Okay. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank teacher you me. No, no lo mencioné. No. Okay. Sí, sí lo mencioné. Jose uh, Jonathan. Bueno, eso es lo que recuerda mi mente. But okay, thank you, Jonathan. Yo lo agrego acá. Okay, tomorrow I will let you know. Les voy a decir sobre la platform. I'm going to ask early. Voy a preguntar temprano. But thank you for your responsibility. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you. See you tomorrow. Good night. One moment, Carlos. We will wait for your classmates to leave and then we we start. Okay. Hi Carlos, how are you doing? Hi Evelyn. How was your day at work? Um Difficult. Yeah. Oh, so, so. Ah, oh, so. Okay. okay, I imagine many responsibilities, right? Or things to do. So it's difficult. And tell me, Carlos, what, how could I help you with your English? Do you have questions about the class or about other topics? For me, it's difficult, uh, the structure and structures the and speaking. Speak. Which structures? Uh, the birds in the future and uh, for the, the, the old time, the birds. The birds. 
sí, cuando son en pasado que, que llevan algo o va es un auxiliar, eso me cuesta un poco. Ah, ok. Ok, we can practice past tense if you want to in a deeper way. Podríamos practicar un poco más simple past, un poquito más con tiempo, las estructuras en negatives, eh, questions, if you want, because each tense takes time, porque cada tiempo, explicarlo, ¿verdad? Toma un tiempo. Sí. But we can start with simple past. Y lo que les recomiendo es que vaya como uno por uno, que se enfoque en uno y luego en otro, cuando ya esté más como seguro con un tiempo, que se cambie a otro. Por ejemplo, con simple past, it's necessary for you to know verbs in past tense. Para utilizar past tense hay que poderse verbos en past tense. Y si no nos los podemos en past tense, no van a estar bien elaboradas las, <risa> las sentences, right? Entonces, ¿cómo está usted con los verbos en past tense? ¿Se puede varios? O... So, so. So, so. Okay. <risa> well, you can try to memorize more. Puede tratar de memorizarse como cada semana, ponerse metas. I can share with you a list. Mañana tal vez le puedo mandar una lista de verbs in past tense. Y hace ese ejercicio, ¿verdad? De ir como tratando de memorizar verbs. En, en el módulo anterior uh -huh. nos dieron un listado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y traté de comenzar. Pero no es que quiera decir de que no me queda ni un ratito. Uh -huh. Pero sí, uh -huh. a veces es bien difícil poderme concentrar un rato en, en esto y no, no, no. No pude, uh -huh. no pude y como va otra, otro tema, se van agregando, se van agregando. Ya, yes. ya uh -huh. no le pude dar como continuidad, pero quería hacer lo que usted me dice, de ir poco a poco en unos cuantos. Mm, well, there is a, a memorizing activity. Hay un como ejercicio mental que sirve para memorizar. Yo siempre se lo recomiendo a mis estudiantes. De que algo que puede hacer, porque sí sé que a veces se ve el tiempo y a veces uno también no hace tiempo y cuando tiene tiempo libre uno quiere descansar o in your case you want to be with your family. Si ya tiene su familia, pues le da atención a su familia porque también es importante. Entonces ya cuando hay tiempo uno trata de dedicarlo a la familia, ¿verdad? Sus hijos de seguro pues. Quieren al papá, quieren estar con su papá y usted pues lo mismo. Dos, dos hijas. Ah, ok. Ok, entonces lo que puede hacer es, bueno, esta es un, una recommendation. Yo tengo sticky notes, son así. Y lo que hace es que en estas notas pone algunos verbos, una pequeña lista, maybe 10 verbs in the list. Anota los verbos y luego esa misma notita la pega en lugares que usted frecuente. Maybe in the age of the computer, tal vez en una esquina de su computadora, in the mirror, en el espejo de su cuarto, en el espejo de su baño, y deja esa nota en lugares visibles que usted frecuente. When you are there, cuando usted va a esos lugares, déle un pequeño vistazo, rápido, así poco y trata de pensar un poco. Y lo hace como por una semana o por cierto tiempo, ¿verdad? Y eso ayuda a memorizar porque uno está viendo con frecuencia lo mismo. Entonces es un ejercicio de memorización que no tiene que dedicarle tanto tiempo. Solo unos segundos y como está a la vista, pues uno le da un vistazo así rápido. So that is something that could work. Es práctico, digo yo, práctico y puede tal vez servirle a memorizar verbos, ¿verdad? Puede probar. Verbos, verbos, verbos irregulares. Todo, con cualquier cosa que usted quiera memorizar. Structures, si le cuesta los, los tiempos, ¿verdad? Puede tratar de, de memorizar structures. In past tense, in future tense. Entonces yo recomiendo eso, a mí me funciona, porque yo trato de expandir mi vocabulario siempre. Entonces trato, ¿verdad?, de de hacerlo, tal vez le funcione, puede probar. Y no tiene que estar sentado, ¿verdad? Y 
practicando English, sino que rápido. Eso sí va a llenar ahí de, de sticky notes. Hasta su familia se va a aprender los, los verbs. De tanto verlos ahí. Sí, sí. Ajá. un momentito, por favor. Yes. Ya te marco un ratito. Va, gracias. Eh, perdón. No problem. Ajá, so that is one, one idea I could give you to memorize. Podría servir, le puede probar. Tal vez así aprende otros verbos, ¿verdad? En talking about past tense, hablando del past tense, simple past, porque hay varios tiempos. Por ejemplo, en simple past. ¿Cuántos tiempos, cuántos tiempos son? Um, maybe the main ones, six. six. Or, ajá, para darle los más principales. Usados. Uh -huh. Pero hay como derivaciones, ajá. Ya podrían ser unos ten, ten, tenses. Por ejemplo, en simple past está simple past, está past continuous. Y está past perfect. Son tres. En, en present tense está simple present, present perfect, present progressive. Ahí van tres. Y en, en future tense están los dos básicos, will and going to. Pero hay algunas como, como que uh, fusiones, por ejemplo, como decir esto, I will be having a meeting next month. Estamos utilizando future tense, pero es una, mix, una mezcla como de un future continuous. Y aparte tiene las, lo pasivo, que puede ser el mismo tiempo, pero en otra estructura. Así que, ajá. Es complicado, pero. pero ajá, por eso hay que ir uno por a uno. Ver, no ajá. Sí, <ríe> little sí. by little. Porque, sí. por ejemplo, uno aprendió Spanish sin en, en aprenderlo, ¿verdad? Uno lo aprendió de escucharlo. Listen and listen and listen. You, you learn. Así que usted, de tanto ir o de practicarlo, puede llegarlo a aprender, ¿verdad? Sí, poco a poco. Sí, sí, uh -huh. sí, realmente necesito más práctica y no solo quedarme solo con lo de la clase. Uh -huh. Hace poquito platicaba ahí de que necesitábamos, no sé, ver algún programa, pero de lo que uno ah, generalmente uh -huh. ve, pero en inglés. Ajá, correcto. No ve no, series o movies. No entiende. En In inglés. Sí, 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 no, ah. en inglés no. Ah, eso, okay. eso es lo que me recomendaban hace poquito. Uh -huh. Y es lo que yes. pretendo tratar de sí. poner en práctica. Tiene que como que empaparse del idioma, no solo aquí en the class. Sí, sí, sí porque sí. hace poquito escuché una conversación donde creí que iba a entender un poco más y me decepcioné. Sí, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Pero ajá, tiene que entrenar el oído. Entonces tiene que hacer sí. listening activities. La clase así como ahora que son en línea, ¿verdad? Quiera o no, el, el oído se, se como que agudiza más. Porque tiene que estar escuchando y no puede quizás uno entender a veces tanto los labios de los demás. Entonces es más listening. Pero sí, por ejemplo, si ve movies... If you listen to music, if you read things, puede hacer actividades que sean para el oído. Pero ajá, las movies, sí, las series, póngalas en English y pone subtítulos. Y ahí ese puede ser un comienzo. Pero algunos dicen que no le hayan la misma gracia, ¿verdad? A sí, así. es que, es que eso, eso es lo que yo decía. No uh -huh. voy a entender la mayor parte, pero de eso se trata. O sea, no, no se trata de, de verla y tratar de entender cómo lo hacemos, bueno, como lo hago yo, perdón, en Ajá. español, donde, eh, no sé, siento que, que es la parte de la gracia de verla. Pero Ajá, vamos a tratar, vamos a tratar. Si no, por lo menos con películas repetidas, alguna que ya haya visto, 
la pone ahí ya en, en inglés y usted ya más o menos tiene una idea de qué dice. Mm -hmm. So, okay. sí, pero sí como... tiene que esforzarse, esforzarse. Vamos a ir a ver caricaturas a Netflix. Ajá. De todo un poquito, Carlos. Yes. Sí. Ok. Sí. Bueno, pero si no, cualquier cosa, pues ahí me pueden escribir, ¿verdad? Y yo con todo gusto les, les ayudo. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, Carlos. Eh, teacher, teacher, Evelyn, licenciada, ¿cómo prefiere? Teacher. Teacher, okay. mm -hmm. Está bien. Thank you, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, a pleasure. Ok, Carlos, in that case, I'm going to let you go. Sweet dreams, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. goodbye.